Master in apathy.
official list of people who doesn't think are fucked in the head. Sid and Nancy, Patrick White, Ted Whitten, Darren Hinch, Jen Kennedy, the Channel 10 News, Bam Bagascoy, this is serious man, Keith Moon, Darren Hinch, Kevin Bloody Wilson, Albert Camus, Darren Hinch, Johan Strindberg, Robert Gottlieb, and Darren Hinch.
Everything hot, all that's tight. Women, men, pubescent girls. Never again to finger their curls on their head. So exquisite. Never again to visit the palace.
I'm a bogan baby, always was. I'm only happy when I punch a mod. And in walked a pine head turd. I looked at my mate, said, thank you, God. Dyed black hair, done all spiky. I saw him laugh when they played Bon Jovi. Had a jacket on, just like a bikey. If there's a bigger mod, could you please show me? Jumped up, little bludger.
mum came in and did things to us. <laughs> I can't explain any further, Molly. It's beyond my, my comprehension. They all had things on their heads, like little houses. All I know is that we're swimming in it. There's violence on the television and letter bombs in the mail, but things can't be all that bad, because Darren Hinch went to jail. Famine eats up children, the peace talks, they always fail, but things can't be all that bad. Cause 
Dexter and Hinch went to jail. You might have double malaria. The doctors look at you, they go pale. But things, they can't be all that bad when Darren Hinch goes to jail. Christ himself on the cross told the guy who banged in the nail, mate, things, they can't be all that bad when Darren Hinch goes to jail. Don't you know, I can take Ronald Reagan, I can take Mission Began, I can take tetraplegia, I can take total amnesia, I can take black spiky hair, I can take germ warfare, I can take chases and inflation, I can take hyperventilation, I can take total bowel dysfunction, I can take nuclear destruction, I can even take Mike Willisey. Well, at a pinch, but one thing I cannot take is Darren fucking Hitch. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Terry Rowe, slave to the economist. Shits me. 
This song shits me. Even shit shits me. But they don't shit me. One tiny, eatsy, weetsy, minuscule, macroscopic, nano seismic, panty, significant, zoophytic, neo, non existent bit compared to the way. Ah, shit me. Whoa! I may be one of all men on the piss. Even if the world had value, I'd still give me a shit. I may be one of all men on the piss. Ron Hedler Barassi from TISM interviewing Chris from The Breakfasters. Chris, what do you think about that? Um, tricky fly, licky tie, binga binga rumna bing tosis. Watch out! Nature is the first cause. Fundamental creative principle in all activity, but the function of a system is to provide the degree. What do you think about that? Well, obe ye franlika, lika, 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 manini, kwatosis. Talk to anyone these days, and you know, it seems, eventually they'll tell you about some heavy scenes when they were living with a druggy friend. You gotta look real serious, or at least pretend, while with a reverent awe, 
like they're reading a psalm. They tell you about some jerk poking a needle in his arm. And dramatically conclude, you know, the guy was a freak. But it's the eighth drug story you've heard this week. Well, I knew a guy, he tops the lot. He wasn't on heroin, crack, or pot. But it was worse than anything out of monkey grip. He did the happy marriage in suburbia trip. You know, I still don't know how this guy never got busted for being so incredibly well adjusted. While we were all shoving chemicals up our nose, he was out in the garden with a watering hose. At first, only small things began to go wrong. He wouldn't turn up when we were having a bomb. But sooner than later, things began to fall apart. He'd take his girl out regular, eat a la carte. He'd look healthy and happy. It was like an alarm. He was collapsing like the veins in my arm. I'll never forget that terrible night. Oh, God above. When he told us he was very much in love. Oh, so they both bought a house. There was no turning back. They got into it the week that I got into crack. His face was never so ravaged with addiction as the week he showed me his brand new kitchen. I'd sometimes go round there with a cap or two of horse, tell him, kick the habit, get a divorce. Your wife's pregnant again, I plead. This'll make three. If you have another kid, you're sure to OD. But he's not even listening. He's in some delirium. His wife's doing the dishes and he's begun clearing them. I love my kids. I'm happy, he'd say, satisfied. But don't you know, on the nappy, he was crucified. He's dead now, of course. Needless to say, family wiped off by a drunk going the wrong way. Oh, how many times has it been written, said or sung that if you live monogamous, expect to die young so you can get into crack smack dope or speed but don't take marriage because this is where it'll lead you'll experience real happiness both physical and mental and if you die it'll be purely accidental from Lower Springvale to the Frankston Freeway Until you get to that bitumen stain That runs between two road highways People trapped in its invidious single lane If you're behind a truck or freighter Say thank God for the Morty Halleck Whoa, duplicator Lifters. 
Ghost Who Talks is speechless, ladies and gentlemen.
Any comments, Jeremy? Yeah. Christmas, Chris Labas, Chris Hatches, Chris Labal, Gravel Fable, Definitable. Crock of shit! You're a boozed, selfish thug! Why don't you give your mouth a go? And in the other hole, put a plug! By Christ, you've got a long, long way on a schoolboy's talent with words. One crappy bit of symbolism, and you're adored by an army of turds. You're a selfish, Rude, arrogant prick. You're basically pretty stupid. You're Mr. Sism's a lump of shit. And so are all the girls you've rooted. So don't talk about being sad and lonely or fucking misunderstood. Cause underneath that self pitying phony is a selfish, brutal hood. I support the police that took you off stage. I support the fact you bled. I support the cops who carried you off. I support the fact you're dead. I think that you're a troubled guy. I'm in my supermarket and some prick pushes in front of my trolley I'll be reminded of your stinking bravado and I'll ask the cunt to say sorry Your fans would excuse every rudeness just cause it comes from you You'd tell them to go drop dead and Say, oh, how true, how true, how true. You need a nine to five job, Jimbo. You need to get to Flinders Street by train. Go and find yourself a regular income. Then you can write a song about pain. Try and save for the kiddie school fees. Take some care when you drive a car. Put your
Great Trucking Songs of the Renaissance, recorded January, March 1988, Platinum Studios, Trees Studio, The Venue Melbourne, Radio 3RRR FM Melbourne, Victoria. Tism know the following people obey the Ted Commandments, the most beautiful economist in the world, Richard the Crusher Vomit, Action Gregors, and The Slave to the Economist. The Ted Commandments. Ted Whitten, Ted Nugent, Ted Heath, Ted Kennedy, Ted E. Bear, Ted E. Roosevelt, Ted E. Boy, Ted Hamilton, Ted Little Niggers. This is Serious Mum have left the building. <laughs> 